A picture's worth a thousand words, and for cyber stalkers, it's worth a whole lot more. What runs through your mind when you realize like that a perfect stranger can walk up to your door and knows what's in your house, what your kid looks like? That's pretty, yeah, it's pretty scary actually. It's fast becoming a part of everyday life. Between social networking and smartphones, it takes just seconds to post snippets of our everyday lives online for the world to see. But just as fast as we can snap a photo or video like this one and post it to Twitter or Facebook, we're offering everyone, including criminals, a detailed roadmap to our lives. Take, for example, our producer Molly. Stand by live. When she got married last year, this photo was snapped at her wedding. We were able to take the photo and pinpoint exactly where the wedding took place the Pole Museum in downtown Richmond. Here's how. Most smartphones encode a GPS stamp called a geotag into digital photos they capture. Invisible to the naked eye, the tag embedded in the picture reveals the exact location, accurate to within 15 feet of where a photo was taken by embedding latitude and longitude coordinates. Share that picture on Twitter or Facebook and it doesn't take a computer scientist to instantly discern where you are. Just ask this guy. The information is so easy to, to get a hold of. Larry Pesci is the co-founder of the website ICanStalkYou.com. They take photos that perfect strangers post online and then show the world where that picture was taken, whether it's someone's living room or their kid's daycare. We interviewed Larry via Skype. Sometimes you have to have a little bit of a shock value to get people to listen and get them to listen so that they can start making some decisions about their privacy. See, ICanStalkYou.com's goal is to bring awareness to the dangers of putting the geotagged information out there for all to see. How many people take pictures of their kids and post that stuff on online and there are certain groups of people that may like to know where kids are. And pics of kids are one of the number one photos parents love to share, but would you want a stranger peering in your kid's window? We found that's just what happens with geotagged photos. Picking a random profile, we used a photo that a man had snapped of his lasagna to lead us to an address in the city's west end. We popped it here into our GPS and headed straight for his door. Time now to see what Shane thinks about us having photos from inside his home here on our tablet. All right, Shane, um, is this your son? Yes, it is. Are you surprised I got that photo yeah, on cool. my iPad? For privacy's sake, we're not going to use Shane's last name. It's pretty shocking. I mean, it's, it's I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm kind of like, wow, like, confused, you know, because <laughs> I just met you, so it's like, uh, yeah. You got this picture on your iPad. I mean, that's pretty uh, scary. I don't post them just for the whole world to see. You got a big screen TV over your fireplace? Yes, sir. Yep, that's my house. What do you think when I show you this picture? That's pretty crazy. Um, I wonder how uh, how you did it. <laughs> how can this be a song? You have a smartphone? Yes, sir. What's your phone? We walk Shane through the simple steps of disabling the GPS features on his phone's camera. Now aware of his compromised privacy, he's making changes to take down the roadmap to his life posted online for the world to see. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's, that's an eye-opener. An eye